appeals process. And at the last meeting, we requested a um, timeline of like the days and the numbers and a flow chart. And I'm wondering if the department and the staff were able to put that together because I think that'd be really helpful for us to understand that process. Yeah, um, this is Mindy Kemp. So we've been working on that and um, we thought it was a good suggestion. And so um, we understand that the due process proposed rules are very complicated and that there's a lot of time frames in there. And um, so we're working on drafting that to present to the state board at the April 6th meeting. So it won't be available to the public before then? It will be available when the documents to the state board are made available to the state board. Um, I can't say exactly when it will be posted, but we'll be making it available as we make it available to the state board. So I, thought the last, I thought last month when we talked about it, I didn't realize that it was limited to the state board. I thought we were talking about using that as a piece for the public to um, comprehend Rule Packet 2 as a follow-up on our last stakeholder meeting. Right. So it will be, um, since those rules haven't passed, so it's it's proposed, right? It's based on the proposed rules. It's not the final due process. It's the due process if the state board were to propose it. And so we're going to use it as a tool to educate the state board on if they were to accept rule packet two, as it's currently stated, here's what the due process would look like. Um, and then as a sort of a, Sorry, in addition to that, it will be made available to the public as part of the documents for state board. Well, I'd really like to say as a community activist who has gotten people involved in this process that it would really be a sign of good faith, Mr. Wester, for the department to get that out to the public prior because people need that information to review and understand. And I think waiting till the meeting is just... Um, uh, another message to the actual people that live this life every day that we are an afterthought. Everyone else was involved in this process. The people that make money off the backs of my son, the Alliance, the CCBs, they were all involved in this process from the very beginning. No one reached out to me. And I really feel like this is the one olive branch you can offer us is to say, here's some information so that you can better understand because there are like 10 pages of different dates. You, you, you know, it's complicated. 